Hi everyone, this is Nathan with the ebookreader.com. For this video review, I'm going to give you guys a look at Android 4.0 on the Kindle Fire. So all you got to do is root your Kindle Fire and then use Twerp to install this custom ROM. Uh, you can check out my earlier videos for the tutorials on how to do that. For this video, I'm just going to give you a look at uh, what uh, uh, Android 4.0 looks like on the Kindle Fire. So uh, the developers over to XDA have been working hard to get this to work. So I just downloaded this package right here as well, uh, as, well as the Google Apps pack. So I got the Google Apps on here. And then... Um, so this is an earlier build right now. You probably don't want to mess with it if you're not technically inclined, but uh, it's really not that bad right now. I'm really surprised at how stable this is. Everything is working pretty well, except for um, hardware acceleration isn't working, so you're not going to be able to watch like HD YouTube videos or Netflix. Um, like regular YouTube is working pretty good. Uh, so there's some other things like the sleep of death. Sometimes it'll go to sleep and you can't get it to wake up. You just like hold the power button and then it'll eventually reset. I've had that thing freeze up a couple of times doing that, but uh, we've also got a couple of things like some other issues here that aren't huge issues like uh, flash doesn't work in the web browser right now and then the Wi-Fi is a little bit spotty at times I had some issues getting Wi-Fi to uh, start up the first time I uh, fired up uh, Android 4.0 on here I had to restart the device at the time and then it, uh, it was able to connect after that sometimes it just keeps saying it'll connect and it won't connect but other than that I've actually been extremely impressed with the, how good this is working on the Kindle Fire As you can see everything's nice and smooth we've got our app drawer in here with our widgets over here so then if you just want to add a widget to your home screen, you just drag and drop it. I don't have enough room here, I don't think. Um, so i got some other widgets on here, as you can tell, I already added. You can customize your home page however you want with the uh, apps. Got the app section over here, you can add your apps to it just by dragging and dropping them. Uh, some other things, you can change the wallpapers, of course. Uh, there's some live wallpapers. So like I was messing around with these the other day, uh, I've got the fish tank on here. It's kind of cool, you can feed them app icons. Anyway, um, so this is actually from the Amazon App Store, so you can still have your Amazon apps on here. i got the Amazon App Store on here. Of course, you're not going to have the Kindle Fire's regular stock functionality. That's all taken away entirely. But you can install the other apps, like you got the Amazon Kindle for Android app. Obviously, it's not going to have as many features as the Kindle Fire's app. You don't have all the uh, line spacing options and you don't have the um, different typefaces, you just got the font adjustments and background colors. And there's also bookmarks, highlights, and um, dictionary as well when you hold down. I haven't downloaded it. But uh, yeah, so you do get to lose some of the functionality, obviously, uh, when you go with this route as far as the Kindle apps are concerned, but then you gain a whole ton of functionality with the Android market and the Google apps, so you can install all these apps from the Android market. So uh, one thing I want to mention, the Amazon App Store, so if the Kindle Fire specific apps aren't going to work. So if they say Kindle Fire Edition, they're not going to show up when you're using uh, CM9. Okay, so let's go ahead and change this wallpaper back. It's probably kind of distracting on the video, I imagine. Go ahead and put in something else. So there's a bunch of different live wallpapers already in here, like this one. Okay, so we've got the um, Ice Cream Sandwich web browser is pretty nice. I do like it. It uh, loads pretty quick. We've got the bookmarks over here. So if you want to learn how to do this, I'll have the directions on my website. So uh, the ebookreader.com, just come over here to the Amazon Kindle page. And I'm going to go ahead and after I get this review finished, I'm going to update right here the Kindle Fire section. I'm going to put a whole bunch of links under it to all the uh, development pages and all the tips and tricks pages so that they're all easy to find right from the Amazon Kindle page. So if you want to learn how to do that, I mean seriously installing uh, Android 4.0 on here, seriously you can do it in like 20 minutes um, from start to finish. you got to root the Kindle first and then you got to install Twerp and it's all um, really easy now so it's surprising. And like I said, I'm using this build right here. I'll have the download link to it as well um, so you can get this exact build for the uh, Android 4.0. So let me show you some of the other stuff. We've got the notifications down here. Now your notifications show up right here and you can swipe them away. Um, this is a little bit different than on the ASUS Transformer. We've got a different uh, little setup here. This is more like Honeycomb. You can access the settings in here. Okay, so I have uh, this the same operating system, Ice Cream Sandwich, on my ASUS Transformer officially. It, these must be the CM9 sub settings because these don't exist on the Transformer. So you can actually go in and change some of the stuff. Uh, the home screen, you can actually change the transitions and stuff. So if you wanted to change how this uh, turns here. Some different uh, options there. You can see the cube. 
obviously. So there's some different settings in there. I was messing around with these the other day. There's some different themes, but we don't have those in here yet. It's just sort of a placeholder, but you can mess with the uh, drawer in the home screen right now. Okay, as far as storage goes, I don't have a whole lot of storage left. Obviously, with the Kindle Fire, you've got a limited amount of storage, so you got to be careful uh, since it does have a memory card. And there's some other stuff down here. So this is Android 4.03, and this is the um, uh, Ju or, uh, February 22nd edition of this build. So the last time I had tried it, it had this green flicker issue, and that has been fixed. Um, I'm surprised at how well it's working. You've got your recent app list right here. So I've been playing some games on here and they were all working well. Let me go ahead and show you a couple of things. I imagine the uh, HD games aren't going to work, but um, all the games that I have tried have worked well. One thing that's cool is the uh, volume is right here. See, that's way too loud, so you can just go in here and adjust the volume right there. There's the brightness slider too, auto rotate, so the screen rotates automatically when you turn the orientation here. Does it fast too, so it's um, it's I'm pretty surprised at how well this is working. Uh, another thing here, so you can drag apps together if you want to create folders. So I got these game apps sitting right here. Kind of stick them into a folder with ice cream sandwich. I've got these other widgets, of course. So let me go ahead and show you something really quickly with YouTube. See, uh, it's not working so great. Obviously, it does some weird things. But uh, so I was able to get some videos to play though. It's like uh, HD videos aren't going to work, but uh, regular definition videos do seem to work. Just hit the HD off. But it is a little jaggedy on some videos like this one, it's all jaggedy. So yeah, the video is the one thing that needs to get working on Ice Cream Sandwich before it uh, it's really going to be, you know, complete, basically. Everything else is working better than I would have expected. Radio works well. Um, I've got these Google Maps installed, and they're all working well. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this review of the Android 4.0 on the Kindle Fire. I just sort of wanted to give you guys a look at uh, how everything's working at this point, and quite frankly, I'm surprised um, everything's working as well as it is. So uh, check out the ebookreader.com. Like I said, I'll put the directions on how to install this and how to install other ROMs uh, right here on the Amazon Kindle section. And then you can install this and check it out for yourself if you would like. Um, thank you for watching.